Okay, so now I'm gonna take one of my colors. I'll take the smaller of the two if, if there's a smaller one. And combining those two little, remember I took two squares, I conditioned two squares and I combined them. Now what I wanna do is roll it into, um, I call it like a little hot dog, but it's actually called a coil when we talk in ceramics. And that's why you want your work surface to be nice and clean because I don't wanna pick up dust or dirt or, or cat hair or whatever furs happening at home. Um, so I'm pushing it, actually, it's a perfect Tootsie Roll. I love that song, Tootsie Roll. Um, so I'm rolling it into a Tootsie Roll and see how I'm using my fingers on the side to kind of push it back in so it doesn't get too long. What you don't want is a snake, not right now. That would be more of a snake or a coil. Um, I'm just gonna fold that back in and pinch that and go roll it back into a Tootsie Roll. Now with my other green clay or my other piece of clay that's a little bit larger, um, I'm gonna go ahead and roll it into a Tootsie Roll a little bit. Now, normally, um, actually we are gonna do that. I'm gonna roll it into a Tootsie Roll as well. But now I have a nice clean marker that I'm gonna use as a rolling pin and I'm gonna put the Tootsie Roll uh, vertical so that I can just, all I wanna do is flatten it. So I'm gonna press down, let me zoom in a little bit press down and kind of steamroll it back and forth. And I'm not gonna to worry too much yet about how thick or thin I make this. I just don't want it to go too much further wider than that. So I'm gonna go ahead and roll it this way. I just sort of want a big rectangle. Now I was debating on because we're home, just kind of pinching it flat. You can do that, but I like rolling it. Um, and see now this is a nice thickness. I like rolling it because it makes it more consistent and smooth. And notice I'm kind of using this as a measuring tool to make sure it's the same width or similar. I'd rather this be a little bit wider so that I can cut it if I need to. Um, and keep it a, a decent thickness. I don't know, maybe like cardboard thickness, like the, the back of your sketchbook kind of cardboard thickness. Um, okay, so from here, what I'm gonna do, and just watch, cause I'll go back. I'm gonna cut a nice straight line going across so I can put my Tootsie Roll on top of my slab now is what this would be if we were in pottery. And I'm gonna pick this up and I'm gonna cover it. So think of it as like a pig in a blanket, right? If you've ever had, had little hot dogs, pig in a blanket, and I'm gonna roll it until it overlaps right here. Now at this overlap point, is where I wanna cut the clay. I don't actually want it to overlap, I want it to meet. So I'm gonna cut it there and gently smooth with my thumb. See how I'm kind of smoothing that and pinching it? So I've made a pig in a blanket and what we've actually created is what's called a cane that is a bullseye design. So it's a bullseye because you've got like the dot inside the wrapped color. So I'm gonna roll it gently. I'm not adding a lot of pressure because I don't want this to get, remember, I don't want like a big long snake. I want a nice Tootsie Roll and just kind of pinch it a little bit. And that is our first cane. That is a bullseye cane. Okay, so I have my bullseye cane or little Tootsie Roll. Now I have two new uh, condition clays that are size of a Tootsie Roll. And I'm gonna do uh, the same thing I did with the last step of the last one and roll out my dark green. So I'm gonna, again, flatten it out a little bit. Let me zoom in. So I'm gonna kind of flatten it out and then roll it. Now in the classroom, I have pasta machines that we normally use, but this is actually working out really well. So I might have to switch gears this year and not use them, we'll see and roll it into um, you know, a nice slab. Again, I don't want my clay to get too, too thin. This is a nice thickness. Um, and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing with my other color. So again, think steam rolling. I'm gonna rotate so it's a little bit wider. And I want this second one to be similar in size. So I wanna roll it to be close in size to my first one. And again, I'm doing this on a nice clean work surface. 
so that I don't pick up every, and I can even see there's some dust particles in there, but that's okay. It's not gonna ruin the project. It just gets annoying if it starts to get dirty. Okay. So now what I wanna do with my knife is I'm gonna cut some straight, at least uh, two straight edges. So I'm gonna cut the side. And again, always save your scraps. I'm just gonna roll these into little balls. So notice I cut the, uh, a nice clean edge on one side. And then I'm gonna cut a nice clean edge on the other side. So I'm making like a 90 degree angle. So at least I have, I know I have a clean edge on these edges here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna pick up one and lay it on top. And the, with the straight edges, I can make sure that those are aligning nice and neat. Let's see, oh, and I didn't do that too well. Let me do that again. And you don't wanna to press too hard on the clay because this way you can just peel it apart like I just did. And I'm not pinching, I'm just like lightly, gently pushing it together. Um, okay, so now you can see my other color sticking out. So I'm gonna cut that nice and straight. And now I'm not gonna worry about this bottom just yet because I'm gonna cut that last. And what I'm gonna do is what's called a jelly roll. Now it doesn't matter to me which colors on the inside or outside. So I can pinch this straight edge and start to roll it. Students live, just watch for a moment and then you can, I'm gonna stop and you guys will do. So I'm just rolling it. Notice I'm using both fingers so that it rolls nice and straight. And again, notice my finishing shape is very much like the Tootsie Roll again. And I'm going to cut a nice straight edge in the end and continue to wrap that. And again, I'm gonna press that clay. I'm just kind of pushing with my thumb over that edge to combine it. And now I'm gonna push that back in and do a very light, I'm not adding a lot of pressure. I don't want a snake. I just want a light pressure to get my Tootsie Roll back. So now I have a jelly roll and a bullseye. And all my scrap, I can separate if possible while it's still, and save those separately. So I have my nice dark green scraps, my light green scraps, right? And then these, I can kind of roll back into a ball so I can precondition those. Longer pieces. No, you don't have to do this. This is just uh, to quick show. So I did, I'm just doing the same thing. I'm doing another jelly roll, but I roll these out longer and thinner. So when I stack them and notice again, I have my straight edge with my straight edge. Um, when I roll this, the longer you roll it, the more jelly roll or spiral effect you'll get. And you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm just gonna roll this all the way. So you can see I get more of a spiral effect. So this one uh, wraps maybe once or maybe twice. This wraps a little bit more. Um, and again, I'm not gonna worry so much. Uh, it's kind of messy right now. So the last thing we're gonna do today, regardless of if your spiral went around a lot or a little, is the first thing I'm gonna do is take my sharp tool. And for my students that are live, when you use this, you don't wanna put your hand on top because you can actually cut yourself. This is sharp. It's not as sharp as a blade, but if you're pressing hard, I don't want you to hurt yourself. Um, but what I'm gonna do is lay down my jelly roll and watch how I cut it. I'm gonna do it with this tool. I'm gonna roll it and add a little bit of pressure. And so it's slicing. Uh, so I get a really nice clean jelly roll. If I were to do, I'm gonna do the other side. If I were to just smash this straight down, like I'm cutting a vegetable and add a lot of pressure, it's going to distort. See how the, that squeezed out and distorted that? You, this is what you want, you don't want that. So what you wanna do again, and I'm gonna do it this time with my butter knife, is I'm gonna to go to my end and all I'm just trying to do is get a nice clean edge. I'm gonna roll, I'm gently adding pressure as I'm rolling. So it's like a really slight gentle cut. And you can see now the difference between my jelly rolls in terms of if I roll it out thinner and longer or thicker and not as long, you get less of a spiral but you see more contrast. It's, it's really a matter of taste. It, one's not better than the other. And there's no right or wrong. So what I want you to do right now is just cut the ends gently of uh, your two, you should have two uh, Tootsie Rolls or canes. Uh, one is a bullseye and one is a spiral. And I did kind of smush that a little bit. So I'm gonna try to pinch that back. So let me do this other side again. Um, Again, the butter knife is a little bit thicker. So you just wanna do a lot of rolling and you like rolling and slicing 
like that. So I have these nice clean ends. This one I'm just gonna fix. And this one, because it was so thin, I'm gonna use this one and notice this is not the same width of a Tootsie Roll, but that's okay. And I'm just going back and forth and slicing. There we go. Okay, so really you should all have these. You might have this, this is just extra. Now these scraps you wanna save, but I'm not gonna pull them apart because obviously they're kind of, I'm just gonna move these aside over here. That's just gonna be my sort of scrap pile. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take one of my scraps here. I'm gonna roll it into a little baby, uh, think of it as like a corn kernel or a pea. So I'm gonna roll this into, think of a tennis ball. If you've ever seen a tennis ball that's fallen apart, the inside of the tennis ball is the core. Now we're gonna wrap our tennis ball with the felt. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice really thin slices and I'm gonna use, because I use my spiral as my core, I'm gonna use my spiral first. And I wanna slice again, rotating as thin as I possibly can. Let me zoom in here. I wanna slice this, think about, you want the slit, you're, you're at the deli, you're like, give me the thinnest slice of turkey or chip tam or whatever it is that you want. So I'm gonna slice this nice and thin and straight like that. And I'm gonna do, let's do two or three of these. So again, I'm gonna flip it and roll it. We're gonna rock and roll our Tootsie Rolls. And that one's a little bit smushed, but that's okay. We're still learning. So it's, I'll be honest, it's a lot easier with something super thin like this. I just um, could not provide all of you with this at home. Maybe you want to use a sharp knife, but I didn't want anyone cutting themselves. Maybe an X-Acto knife. These are not actually blades, but again, with pressure. So just watch what I do for a second. I'm going to take my, I'm, I'm calling this like my, um, it's really like the size of a pea. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to wrap this around my pea, my core. And again, I'm pressing a little bit very gently. And now you can see I have my spiral design on the P. I'm gonna roll this to the other side and take another slice. I'm wrapping that inner core with my slices. So this is how you get a repeating pattern. Now I do have a gap here. I could just push these together. And now what I'm making is um, a little polymer clay bead that has a repeating spiral pattern. And as I roll this between my hands, I'm rolling it in a very, very light, gentle, you can see here, very light and gentle. I'm not smushing my pee and adding a little bit of pressure. So we're gonna save every single little clay piece that you make. So I'm gonna do that again. You guys can do this with me. I'm gonna take my scrap clay from earlier when I, when I cut it off. Um, instead of using these, I'm gonna use this um, bullseye. I'm gonna do a bullseye design. So again, I'm slicing. And you guys go ahead and do this. I'm just gonna finish up my video for my other classes. So I'm rocking back and forth and slicing. And because the core is so small, I only need maybe two slices. So I'm gonna wrap around that with a bullseye. Now I have this really nice round circle shape and on the back side and do that. So you really want thin pieces because the more, the thicker your slices are, the bigger your bead's gonna get. And if you think about, if you were to make jewelry, you don't want these big hunks of beads. I can show you some examples maybe tomorrow, some past project students made that the beads are like ginormous and they get heavy. <laughs> so the smaller your core scrap clay that you start with, your little, what I was saying, my little pea, and the thinner slices, the, the nice and uh, small that your bead will be. So this is my bullseye, did not come out so great. You can see how it got distorted, but it's kind of cool. I kind of dig this kind of amoeba shape or random, it's not a perfect bullseye. Tomorrow I'll show you how to take this bullseye and make it maybe a little bit more consistent. We're gonna do some cool stuff with this. So I have two beads. I have my spiral bead, my bullseye bead, all my scrap ends and for you, your spiral and your bullseye. We're gonna continue this tomorrow. So save. Okay, so my students that are live, they're gonna take theirs home. So I'm just gonna show all of you how to keep these uh, protected from getting, um, from collecting dust and dirt. So I have a, just a piece of computer paper here. Parchment paper would be more ideal. 
but I'm not going to roll these up like I had this wrapped up. Like this is gonna be wrapped like a package again. But this, I'm just gonna kind of gently um, keep all my pieces. Woo! And I wanna keep the pieces because they're all similar in color and just kind of fold it up like a like I'm wrapping, holding an envelope at the ends. If you're home, just kind of, you could even just do that and keep it covered and keep it in a safe place. Um, these you can just wrap up, you know, Again, I try to do it this way so my colors don't touch each other because they this, the colors, they they contaminate so easily. I'm just gonna re-roll that and stop. 